Your first time here? Yes. yes. What do you think of the big Buddha? It's beautiful. Uh, better than the beaches? <laughs> Good morning, Koh Samui. Let's talk temples because you can't go to Thailand without going to some temples. And here in Koh Samui, there are some great ones. A smoothie with durian of all things. In Koh Samui, you can go to the beaches and you should, but you should escape also to the cultural sites. And I'm talking about the big Buddha here on the island and also the hilltop temple. I'm gonna take you there today and we're gonna explore and find out, hey, is it worth it? When people head away from the beaches in Koh Samui, the big Buddha is typically the number one item on the list. It's up here in the northwest corner of the island, just near the airport. In fact, every now and then you'll see planes flying overhead so it's easy to get to, it's accessible, and it's right over this way. Now there is a sign here with the dress code, but they seem to be letting people in regardless of how they're dressed. New subscribers from India. Hey. Thank you guys. Hey. It's good. <laughs> Your first time here? Yes. What do you think of the big Buddha? It's beautiful. Uh, better than the beaches? <laughs> Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good alternative side yeah, trip. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Especially when the weather's like this. Yeah. Wow, here we are. This thing is 12 meters tall. And as I mentioned, it's near the airport. And also, if you're a keen eye, when you're flying into the island of Koh Samui, keep an eye open for this because the airplanes go right over this little bit here. It's technically an island, but it's connected by a little land bridge that can easily get you out here. If you go with the tour operator, you see many tour vans arriving today with people. I'm on my motorbike, so I arrived out here today on my motorbike. It's a Honda Click 125. This whole area is called the Wat Prai Yai, or the Prai Yai Temple. And the Buddhist itself, it's the centerpiece of the temple. It was built in 1972. Get up here, say your prayer, be respectful, dress accordingly, take off your shoes as well, get your Instagram shots, and then get out of here. And with the weather today, it ends up being a perfect day to, to see the temples and the big Buddha like this. Because of the weather, overcast today, and not as hot, so you're not baking out here under the sun seeing the Buddha. If you need to buy some snacks or some clothing items or any sort of souvenirs, you can do so in here. There are some shops out here on this temple island. Down at the other end, there are some statues with some big boobs and stuff like that that you can check out before you leave this area. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up down below. Now stick with me, we have a couple more sights to see. Now number two on my hit list of three today is just a five minute drive from the big Buddha. It's called Wat Plai Lam, the Plai Lam Temple. And it's much more lavish than the last temple we were at. And this one is newer, built in 2004 in a mix of Thai and Chinese architecture. And the masterpiece, the centerpiece in this temple is this one here, the big 18 armed statue the Guan Yen, said to have so many arms so it could help more people at once. Standing behind this statue bathed in white, and what's interesting here at the base, you can see part of the dragon, the body of the dragon that's wrapped around the statue, and on the front, you can see the big, massive head. And I wanna show you something else here, check this out. You see this? There are turtles hanging out down here. If Guan Yin, that statue over there, was the statue to mercy and compassion, this one here, this big fat Buddha, is a statue to wealth and prosperity. This statue here, they say it's 30 meters tall. It could be, but then they say the big Buddha is only 12 meters tall. If anything, I think this one is about the same height as the big Buddha. Perhaps the big Buddha is a little bit higher than 12 meters. All this is pretty special, but to be honest, for being built in 2004, it seems pretty run down already. And they ask you to take off your shoes, which you should, but watch out for broken tiles as you're walking around and also pigeon poo. I used that hose over there to wash off my feet and I think it was the pump to pump out the bathrooms. Oh. We 
are on our way to our third place today. If you haven't yet subscribed, join the community for more videos like this. Click the red button right down below. Just had a check in with my motorbike rental place. Got a new helmet. The other one was ill fitting. Thank you. Thank you. We're on. <laughs> We have to hurry because it may rain. Just interrupt this video for one minute before my boat taxi arrives. I put out this Kosamui e-guide that you can download, have in your pocket, offline when you travel around the island. Everything you need to know, how to get around the island, how to get to and from the island, restaurant recommendations, hotel recommendations, Google links for places you need to visit. You can download the e-guide below. We're now going up the steps to the cow Hua Juke Pagoda. It's right up here. And I think this place, it's worth it because you're gonna get a great view. And to give you an idea, we're just near the Koh Samui Airport. Right down there, you can see the runway. For all these spots, I recommend you having a rental motorbike like I'm doing today, a rental car, or go with a travel agency that does a tour of all these temples and all these Buddhas in one day. This pagoda sits on top of the Kom Dao mountain right up there. We're gonna make our way up to the top. It's a shimmering gold pagoda and all this gold artwork and Buddhas that are around it as well. It costs 20 baht to get in here. I think it's well worth it. Right up here, you get in an awesome view of the Koh Samui runway. If you're a plane spotter, then this could be the temple, the pagoda for you. Up here, here's the giant gold shimmering pagoda. We're on top of the Kom Dao mountain. And up here, besides the runway, over here, you get a great view of the Cha Wang Lake. And off in the distance, the Cha Wang, the most popular beach in Koh Samui. We're so lucky today. Besides the cooler temperatures that allows us to see these temples and Buddhas without sweating too much, we're seeing a couple up here wrap this pagoda in gold ribbons, part of a ceremony for the Buddhist. You're from Thailand. Are you from Koh Samui? No, I'm from Bangkok. Ah, from yeah. Bangkok. So my Thai friend was just telling me they wrap it in gold because inside there's a golden Buddha and this is exactly like the Golden Mount Temple in Bangkok. It's basically a replica. So if you've been there, you got to come and see this one if you're here in Koh Samui. So was this holy trinity of temples and Buddhas worth it? Worth getting away from the beaches when you're in? I think they think so. Worth getting away from the beaches when you're in Koh Samui. Well, hold on one second. Before I get to that, have you heard about my newsletter that I'm putting out regularly with travel tips and hacks, also some exclusive video content that you're not getting here on the YouTube channel? Click down in the link in the description because you can join via that link. And yes, I think this is worth it. Getting away one day from the beaches, especially if you have one week or more in Koh Samui, you gotta see some cultural sites like this. And if you enjoyed this video, click on this one here because I think you're going to enjoy it. Click on it now. Thank you.